If you want to add a center to page button anywhere on the toolbars, if you go up to object, align and distribute, there's already a center to page button there. P is the keyboard shortcut for it. But if you want to add that button so that you can get to it easily without having to go to the menu, all you do is you hold control and alt. And while holding control and alt, you click on the tool and you drag it to wherever you want to put it. Okay, wherever you put it, you let go of the mouse first, then you let go of control and alt, and now you've got that button there. So if I have something selected, all of a sudden that's going to show up. I hit it and it's going to center on my page. If I only wanted to center vertically or horizontally on the page, there are two other buttons for that. So again, you go to align and distribute, there's center to page horizontally and vertically. So if you wanted those, you can also just hold control and alt and drag them out. If you don't hold control, it's going to actually move it, which is not what you want to have happen. And if you don't hold alt, it's not going to move it off of there at all. So now that I've got something selected, I can go to the center of the page horizontally. I can go to the center of the page vertically. Or I can do both. Now, if I decide I don't want those on there, you can just hold Alt, click and drag. And then as soon as you see that X, you let go of your mouse and that's going to pull those off. As you can see, my workspace is highly customized, so you can add all sorts of buttons. If the buttons don't already exist in one of these menus or anywhere else, typically you can go to Tools, Options, Customization, click on Commands, then under Commands, you can click All, Show All Items. And then from there you can search. So if I wanted to search for Center, it's going to also give me those options. If I click on it, it's going to tell me where it is. So it's on the menu bar, object, align and distribute. That's where we found it before. If you want to see the shortcut keys you can click on here, it'll show you what the shortcut key is. But if you say view all, it'll pull up a list of all of the shortcut keys in the program. You can export to a CSV or you can print it out so that you can learn how to use the keyboard shortcuts because that's going to be the fastest way to do it. I actually don't use the page. So if I was trying to center something, I would have an object, have another object, hold shift, click on it, hit E to center top to bottom, C to center left to right. If you don't hold shift, you can do it also just by swiping. But whatever object is furthest to the back, that's the one that's going to be the target. So if I go like this and I hit E, C, it's going to move the red one. If I move the blue one over, select both of them, hit E and C, it's still going to move the red one. If the blue one is to the front, so I'm going to hit shift page up to get it to the front. If I grab both of these now and hit E and C, it's going to move the blue one because the red one is furthest to the back. So whatever is furthest to the back of your stack, if you're looking in the objects docker, whatever is at the bottom, that's going to be your target. If you hold shift, you can select your target. You can still center to the page using those keyboard shortcuts of E and C, but in order to do so, you'd have to have an object the size of the page. So if you just hold shift and double click on the rectangle tool, it will create a rectangle the size of the page. So if I was showing the page border, you'd see that it's the same size. So now if I grab my objects, shift select this, hit E, it'll move top to bottom, C left to right, T to the top, L to the left, B to the bottom, R to the right, E and C to go to the middle. It's the same as if I was going to just hit P, which will move it to the middle of the page. All of that functionality you can also get in the Align and Distribute Docker. You just need to make sure when you're aligning, instead of selected objects, you're aligning to the page. So that way you click like that and it'll align to the center both directions.